In hacking, there are two types of teams. The red team, which is the badass attacker, and the blue team, which is the boring defender. Now, cybersecurity is a vital field in our digital world. As technology advances, so do the security threats. But learning cybersecurity can seem like a nightmare and I totally get it and I'll show you how to learn hacking in this video but you might wonder if you have what it takes to learn cyber security like you thought you could get big but due to your lack of a skill called life, look at you all alone. The truth is, cybersecurity is a complex field that requires some technical knowledge. Take me for example. I learned how to hack a Wi-Fi password and the basics of Metasploit. And I also learned how to spot backdoor bugs, which are the most dangerous. And even with all my software engineering skills, I still f***ed up. But does my experience in software development give me an edge? Doesn't that seem unfair? And if I really had an edge, why didn't I get bit? Yet. The answer is yes, I do have an edge. But why? Well, first you need some coding skills. They're not necessary, but they will give you a huge advantage in the beginning. Because if you want to hack a system, you need to know how it works first. Now, as I said, one of the biggest challenges in learning cybersecurity is that it often involves coding and programming skills. But don't worry, you don't need to be a computer genius to learn cybersecurity. The key is to have a solid foundation in computer science and a willingness to learn. And just like coding, cybersecurity is a constantly evolving field, so you need to stay up to date with the latest trends and technologies. I mean, you don't want to end up outdated like your grandpa. Attending cybersecurity conferences and networking with other professionals in the field is a great way to stay on top of the latest developments. And it is also the easiest way to end up in jail. More on that later on. But another important aspect of learning cybersecurity is to have a strong understanding of the basics. That includes networking, operating systems, and programming languages. It's also important to have hands-on experience in practicing cybersecurity. And since we're talking about how to get experience, let me tell you something. You either get your experience from tools that are meant to be hacked and available online, like Metasploitable 2 or 3, or they will find you. The government is stronger than you. You shouldn't challenge them. Trying to hack a real working system is illegal and will get you caught. And trust me, it's not worth it. And I don't really care if you got caught, I just don't want to see another soul giving up on their dreams of getting bitch. Anyways, as I said, many cybersecurity programs offer simulated environments where you can practice your skills or find some online like I did. Now, if you're a beginner software developer who wants to learn cybersecurity, here's a simple effective roadmap for you. Learn the basics of computer science and programming. You can use any language you want, but Python is a good choice in general. Learn the basics of networking and how data flows on the internet. Learn the basics of web development and how websites work. You can use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create your own web pages and learn how to use APIs. Or just subscribe to my mentorship program and I'll teach you myself. Now, learn the basics of web security and how to protect websites from common attacks. You can use tools like Barpsuit or OWASP Zap to test web vulnerabilities and learn how to fix them. But hey, don't, don't, don't think about it. They will not fix your life. Learn the basics of cryptography and how to encrypt and decrypt data. You can use tools like OpenSSL or PyCrypto to implement different algorithms and learn how they work. Learn the basics of reverse engineering and how to analyze binary files. You can use tools like Ghidra or Red Air 2 to disassemble and debug programs. Learn the basics of malware analysis and how to identify and remove malicious software. You can use tools like VirusTotal or Kako Sandbox to scan and analyze malware samples. Learn the basics of penetration testing and how to hack systems ethically. You hear me? Ethically, bit. You can use tools like Metasploit and Kali Linux to perform different attacks. Once you learn all of these, you will be able to continue your journey alone, but having a mentor can always make it easy and save years of unnecessary wasted time. But if you're not sure, you can always subscribe to my newsletter and get so much value for free. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.